Blumenauer. Jeffries. Blunt Rochester. Jeffries. Bobert. Madam Clerk, I rise to nominate Kevin Hearn as Speaker of the House. The gentlewoman is recognized. Thank you, Madam Clerk. We have been accused of not having a plan. Well, we've presented many, many plans and are even presenting two plans simultaneously right now for Speaker of the People's House. I sat in my chair anticipating to vote for Byron Donalds, whom I respect whom I see as a leader, and there was a gut check that said, we need someone that is going to convince my colleagues on this side of the aisle that it's time to get going. It's time to build momentum. I'm voting for Kevin Hearn, the gentleman from Oklahoma. Mr. Hearn went from rags to riches, and like myself and many other members, is a small business owner. He has lived the American dream. He's a father, a family man, and as Kevin likes to say, he's a conservative, but he's not mad about it. We can have a happy warrior leading us. I believe that Kevin Hearn is a unifier. He just received the chairman of the Republican Study Committee by unanimous consent. This is the largest caucus in our conference, look how many people have already put their trust in Kevin Hurd to lead them. I get asked by my constituents, where does this go? Who can unify the party? Who can deliver results? Representative Kevin Hearn can do just that, and I am proud to enter his name into the nomination, and I hope that some of you join me.